my channel. My name is Chris, in case you forgot, okay? I know it's been forever, literally forever. Like, I think like four months. It's a long time, okay? That was an unintentional break, <laughs> but it was a necessary break. And I think I'm gonna do like another video, maybe about, you know, me taking a break from YouTube and pretty much kind of like social media. I've kind of been out of the loop and so many things have happened and changed and there's a whole lot of stuff going on, okay? So, um, <clears throat> I'm late. But just know that me and the fam are doing fine. Um, we are just like really crazy swamped, y'all. And I know like we told y'all um, on the wind down and we also told y'all here that um, the schedule is like too much sometimes okay like seriously it's so cool now that the boys are getting older and they're able to participate in you know after school activities and things outside of school as well um but honestly it leaves very little time for me and ty to really do anything else so i decided to take a much needed break to kind of just step back and reevaluate life yes and that was a very fast summary of i guess the past four months but um that's not what this video is about this ain't no update video and stuff. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a haul because during my social media hiatus, I kind of like took a hiatus from like buying a lot of stuff um, and trying a lot of stuff. So I am just all kinds of late when it comes to whatever has launched. The past couple weeks, I have decided to clean out my makeup stash, but I went out and like purchased a couple things that kind of caught my eye. I don't think that anything is really like new 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 as far as you know trendy and stuff um except for a couple things but i wanted to share anyways because it's been a while okay <laughs> all right so the first thing i know for sure is new so i'm not too far off okay i'm not too far back in the dust um but this is from maybelline and it is their concealer this is their instant age rewind eraser for dark circles treatment concealer it looks like this um and maybelline has finally launched some new shades i'm not sure how many shades they're all total right now i think there's 12 i think don't quote me on that um but they finally released some shades for deeper skin tones um so y'all i have wanted to try this concealer for literally years but i was never willing to just go and pick up a product that i knew was way too light for me um so i heard that they launched some new shades and i was like okay cool yeah let me go finally try this out and see how it works um, and I actually really do like it. The shade that I decided to go with was Caramel. Um, I saw a couple swatch videos and stuff like that and it was kind of tough for me to decide on which one to go with. This one is definitely spot on to my under eye area. Um, and it's like a little bit like barely lighter so it kind of brightens up the area. Definitely not too light. So I think I already have some in there. So you see. You might not even be able to see it because it's really, really close to my skin tone and it blends in really well. So I think this was seven or eight dollars. I do not have um, my receipt up here, so I'm not too sure what the price was, but I found mine at Walmart. It doesn't crease a lot unless I put too much. So very sparingly under the eyes, a few dots or just a one line and you're good to go. All right, so since we're talking about Maybelline, I picked up some lipsticks from Maybelline. Um, Y'all can probably tell by the packaging that no, these are not brand new launches or anything like that, but one of them is an oldie but goodie for me. It is like one of my favorite lipsticks from them. It is shade 940 Touchable Taupe. Looks like this. I think I swatched this a long time ago, y'all, in like a like brown lippy video that I did. And this color is so cute it is like it's like a taupe color um but it's kind of like a i want to say mauve and it's not like mauve or mauve um but it's got like a purplish tone to it like a grayish tone almost but it looks really nice if you wear it in the center of your lips and then like a darker color on the outside kind of like an ombre effect i do have it on right now along with the next lipstick that i'm going to share with you but as far as touchable taupe it is like a cream finish like a kind of like a satin finish but no shimmer at all no glitter or anything like that it's moisturizing to my lips um at least enough to be comfortable so the next color is called coffee addiction number 780 and this is from their bold collection it's got like the blue packaging 
Let me pop this open. I am wearing this color today. And the way I'm wearing both of these together is I didn't go like full blown pigments on the colors because um, I'm kind of like in a minimalistic mood with my makeup. Like I kind of have been really simple y'all. Like these past four months, mm, I have toned things down. And I wasn't really like too bold anyways, but you know what I mean? Like I've just been doing a lot less. Um, so yeah, I have it along the outer edges of my mouth. And I love this color. It's kind of like an reddish orange brown without a lot of orange. So it doesn't make your teeth look yellow or anything like that. But that color, y'all, oh my gosh. This shade to me also seems like a cream finish. It doesn't have as much of a sheen as the Touchable Taupe. And there is no glitter in this either. All right, so now on to a lipstick that I purchased today. And I am like... I need, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> I'm going to take it back because I just cannot get down with this color. Um, and I'm sad because this is my first product from this brand. Um, this is from the Flower brand. It looks like this. And this is the Chestnut Kiss 045 lipstick. Um, and this is also sold at Walmart. And I think this was like $5.94 or $5.98. So the color of this lipstick is so pretty so it's kind of like the coffee addiction but it's a little bit like rosier if that makes sense and it looks really really pretty but I'm so disappointed because the amount of glitter in this is just for me I just can't get down with like when I put it on I put it on the car because I was so excited put it on in the car and all I could focus on was the gold glitter and it's not like a little teeny finely milled glitter it's kind of like chunky and just like mm -mm. so i went to go wipe it off my lips and lo and behold the glitter was all over the place and i was just like ah! so it says on the packaging that this is a cream finish but again it does have shimmer to it and i kind of think that they should say cream slash shimmer okay all right so another of the product that i decided to pick up was from rimmel and it looks like this this is a clear lip liner this is from their moisture renew line and it says that this is a universal transparent lip liner i actually have an older one here um and again while i was cleaning out my makeup stash i was like you know what i need to use this lip liner okay it is moisturizing along the lip line um which i like i like moisturized lips versus matte drier lips this is actually really moisturizing and it does keep my lip product in place I'm like why have I not reached for this more often so the color it looks white here but it swatches clear like you're not even gonna be able to see it it's clear um, and you know you don't even have to think about trying to get the line right and anything like that so I love having the clear lip liner now I ordered this from amazon.com because the stores seem to kind of be like not carrying this as much i don't know if this is going to be discontinued i hope it's not going to be discontinued <sighs> if it's going to be discontinued i'm going to have to find another clear lip liner so let me know in the comments if you've ever tried any clear lip liners and what your favorite one is but this one is definitely a good one it doesn't have any taste or anything like that um, and it does work for me all right so last but not least for my drugstore haul um i picked up this cushion sponge from real techniques this is their expert air cushion sponge and it says that it's new okay <laughs> so it also says to use this dry um all right now i do not own any cushion makeup um i have never even tried any of the cushion makeups that are out there um but i purchased this because i wanted to see if it would work with like my loose powders and even my pressed powders um, to kind of just apply product evenly like that um, so I do use my real technique sponge to apply my powder and I have like a contour one from them let me get it like this one right here this is their contour one I think um, and this one's really good at applying powder and stuff because it's flat here and then you know like their the regular real technique sponge mine is all torn up okay y'all <clears throat> I gotta step it up but I wanted to see if this could work in that way as well and it does work like that um it's a little bit firmer than i thought it was going to be um but it's still it's kind of like a puff like that you would receive in a powder like a pressed powder um so it does serve its purpose 
um, in that regard. So if you're interested in like checking this out for powder, it does work. You might have to do a little bit more work to get it to work, but it does work. Honestly, y'all, this was definitely an impulse buy. I was curious to see what the texture was and everything like that. I have washed it and it washed up well. Now, when I'm washing it, I'm very careful with it because this could, I think it could definitely come off, like eventually. I'm not sure how they have this attached. It looks like it's kind of like stuck inside the handle. Um, so when I washed it, I was like really careful and I was like squeezing it <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, and it made it a bit fluffier to the touch. Um, it didn't like damage it or anything like that, but it definitely puffed it up a little bit more. So it's easier for me to use now than fresh out of the package. All right, y'all, so this wraps up my little drugstore haul. Once again, I missed y'all so much, and thank you to all those who reached out to, you know, check in on me, Ty, and the boys. Um, once again, we are doing all right. We are just really busy and really exhausted, and yeah, okay. <laughs> but I hope you are having a great day. Thanks so much for checking in. Take care. Be sure to check out my channel homepage and our new channel, The Wind Down with Chris and Ty, for lots more to watch.